Hello and welcome. This video provides a tour of ultra-based courses in Ottawa University Blackboard. Accessing a course uh, from the courses link, and let's go do that here. So we're already in the course, but um, let's go from the courses link. So here we are. Uh, we, we clicked on courses, and then we're going to pick our course, sample Blackboard course, uh, and here it is. Um, so it basically takes you to the main content area of the course. Uh, first, you can look at announcements through this View Archive link in the uh, Details and Actions area. All right. uh, here, your instructor will provide you with updates and information as the term progresses. Uh, your instructor will also be displayed here. You know, um, There's not necessarily faculty for this course, so nothing's here, but um, the instructors are normally displayed um, right here in the course faculty area. Uh, Ottawa University syllabi are typically organized into three sections. We've got the course description and course objectives, activities and assignments, and the university and course policies. Um, please keep in mind it is your responsibility to review each section in detail and sp play, uh, sorry, pay special attention to the policies section. Uh, it should be reviewed thoroughly. It contains information on plagiarism policies, email communication, and other information you need to know as an Ottawa University student. All right, next, let's cover course content. Uh, this is going to be displayed typically in we numbered weekly folders, like we have here, week one, week two, week three. Uh, these contain lecture materials, learning resources, assignments, tests, and other information uh, relevant to your coursework. Let's talk about assignments. Assignments are submitted through dedicated links in the weekly folders, and that's what this is right here. Uh, clicking on an assignment link begins the submission process. Um, here I have three attempts here, but what it would normally say to someone who'd never completed an attempt before is view slash complete. In any case, you click the black button at the bottom and it opens up the assignment. Uh, we recommend creating a Microsoft Word document and attaching it in the text area to complete assignments, but you may also type out your assignment if preferable. And that area is down here at the bottom. You can type out what you like and you can also you know, attach files. Uh, once you've uh, once you've done that and you can upload your file there. Um, once you've done that, you can click submit. Please make sure you click submit, not save and close. Save and close submits a draft. It doesn't submit anything. It just creates a draft, and your instructor can't access it. So you click submit here, and um, you'll get a confirmation confirmation message, you click submit again, and then you get your submission receipt. Please take a screenshot or write this number down or something, um, or download it. Um, this um, this uh, this is a receipt that you've actually done your work, and if there's ever a question about whether or not your instructor has it, you can give them the receipt, and you know, they'll be able to look it up, and, and, you know, and, and the ball will be in their court. All right, so there that is assignments. Uh, next we have discussions. Uh, discussions are asynchronous text-based um, discussions. Um, courses in the online program typically require uh, weekly discussion participation. They are assessed through the discussions tab at the top left um, in, a, in the uh, weekly materials. Uh, so here we have a, a, you know, for example, an introductions link, um, but we also have the discussions up here. So we can click on that. Um, you can, uh, each, each week has a folder. Um, so um, each prompt, you'd have two prompts in a week generally, and those are in these weekly folders in the discussions area as well. Um, you can respond to, uh, once you click on these things, you can, there's a place that says type a response, and you just type in what you want, and um, um, that, uh, that will be your submission. Students will respond there, and you can, um, and you can uh, continue the discussion that way. Um, next up, we have tools and resources. Um, so tools and resources are displayed in this little folder right here at the top of the content area. You have, you know, there's a link to the IU Hub, a uh, link to tech support, a link to uh, the Gangwish Library, a uh, link to the Pronto messaging system. Uh, this thing is pretty amazing. Uh, you can, um, it's provided in all of uh, Ottawa University courses and allows students and instructors to communicate with each other in a convenient, uh, mobile-oriented format. Um, like I said, you just click on that link right there and then it'll open up. You might have to sign up or just kind of like go through some, some confirmations, but um, it's a pretty quick and easy and pretty amazing tool. Um, there's also a link to NetTutor typically here in this course. It doesn't have one, but NetTutor is a, um, is a service that uh, you can use to 
uh, get feedback on your assignment submissions, like stuff that's like one to three pages, um, and feedback can be useful for you know, finding typographical errors or APA style corrections, um, stuff that you didn't catch yourself. Uh, there's also Blackboard Collaborate, and Collaborate is a uh, virtual conferencing system uh, baked into Blackboard. You can access it by uh, clicking Join Session right here in the course room, and, um, and um, it opens up. Um, this, like I said, this is a, a virtual classroom uh, slash conferencing system built into Blackboard Learn. Uh, your instructor may use it to schedule office hours or class sessions or meetings and tutorials with students. It's entirely web-based, uh, so you won't need to install anything on your computer. Um, student resources for Collaborate are available on the Ottawa University's uh, Keep Learning site. Um, so there is, there's that. Uh, uh, just a little bit more details about Collaborate. You've got the ability to chat with people, you've got um, a way to see who's, um, who's attending, you've got a way to share content. In this case, this is a student, they wouldn't have the option to share content, but if sometimes that does happen, um, so you can share content that way. And then you can uh, determine settings about, you know, about your audio and video and other things related to collaborate. All right, so um, next we have the uh, grade book. The gradebook displays the uh, grading status of your graded work. Um, you can see assignments that are upcoming, uh, submitted or graded. Uh, you can click on a link corresponding to an assignment to review your submission. Why don't we take uh, you know, this practice Blackboard assignment and look at the fact that I have done three submissions. And so I can start an attempt. I can you know, look at the rubric uh, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, see here, next up. Uh, supplementary materials. Um, yeah, so in, in weekly full, in weekly learning modules, there's often these these um, uh, learning resources, and these are supplementary materials that we provide, um, you know, for each week of, of coursework that are designed to kind of assist you in in understanding fully understanding the material uh, that you're learning that week. So uh, please take a look at these resources and review the content there. It should help you understand your. Uh, uh, you know, the work you're doing in your courses more. Okay, uh, next we have uh, resources um, outside of Blackboard as well that are going to be really helpful for people. We have the um, IDAT help site. There's, you know, a bunch of forms and stuff. It's for students and instructors. Um, but there is a student course issue report if you uh, you want if there's something wrong with your course and you want to let us know about it, feel free. Uh, that's that link right there and you can um, fill out some information about the issue, and we'll be happy to uh, address whatever uh, problem you're, you're able to identify. Uh, we also have My Ottawa. Uh, My Ottawa has information like the, in the OU Help tab here, um, uh, ways to contact us, uh, ways to um, uh, you know, resources on academic continuity. This just means you know uh, teaching from wherever, whenever, um, uh, and uh, there's other things like uh, information about NetTutor and you know other resources um, for things that you might need to know um, in your journey here at OU. Um, next, um, about browsers. Uh, Blackboard is compatible with multiple browsers. Uh, currently, Firefox, Chrome, and Edge are supported for use with Blackboard. Internet Explorer is not supported for use with Blackboard. Uh, some browsers are better for certain things over others, so please be prepared to use multiple browsers in your course. Uh, next, we have uh, best practices for test taking. Yes, let's do that one right here. Where's it at? Okay, yes. Um, please make sure to review the best practices for text test taking resource. It'll help minimize uh, common fit pitfalls uh, users experience when taking tests on Blackboard. Um, there's also the uh, OU Bookstore. And let's see if I can actually show that right here. There we go. How about... There we go. Okay, yeah, so the, um, the OU Bookstore is, um, it'll help you obtain textbooks if an e-text is not deployed in your course. Uh, the bookstore may be accessed on the web at ottawa.verbicompare.com and, you know, when you go there you can select get textbooks and, um, you know, pick your term Pick your, uh, you know, your course and other information you'll get prompted for, and then you can just look at the prices. Uh, finally, we have the uh, IDAT website. Uh, we use this to communicate information about um, uh, uh, information on Blackboard and it house resources for a, a variety of Blackboard-related tasks. Um, and 
and um, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, and best of luck to you in your journey at OU. If you have uh, technical issues, please do not hesitate to email us at ouhelp at ottawa.edu. Uh, welcome to Ottawa University.